Hi everyone! Welcome back to our math lesson. Today, we're going to talk about perfect squares and square roots. First, what is a perfect square? It is a product of a rational number multiplied by itself. In simpler terms, it is a number you get when you multiply an integer by itself. A number that can be expressed as n squared, where n is an integer. So let's have these examples. So we have here 5 squared and 12 squared. This means that 5 squared is equal to 5 times 5. And 5 times 5 is the same as 25. That means 5 squared is equal to 25. Let's go for 12 squared. 12 squared is the same as 12 times 12. 12 times 12 is equal to 144. So meaning 12 squared is equal to 144. Now let's talk about square roots. The square root is the inverse operation of squaring. If squaring means multiplying a number by itself, then finding the square root means asking, what number when multiplied by itself will give me this number? The square root of n is written as square root of n, where n is the radicand and this symbol is the radical sign. For example, the square root of 25. Square root of 25 is equal to 5. Why? Because the square root of 25 is the same as 5 times 5. Okay, next. Square root of 144 is 12. Okay, why? Simply because 144 is 12 times 12. Let's proceed to these examples. Help me in answering this. What is the square root of 4? Okay, so again, square root of 4, you think of a number that can, but that when you multiply by itself, the result is 4. And that is 2 times 2. So meaning the square root of 4 is equal to 2. Next, square root of 36. Again, let's think of numbers that when we multiply by itself, the result is 36. So that is 6 times 6. And that is 6. How about 100? So for 100, we have square root of 10 times 10, and that is 10. How about 225? This is the square root of, alright, so this is 15 times 15, and that is, the square root of 225 is 15. How about 81? Hmm, let's think of a number when you multiply by itself, the result is 81. Great, that is 9 times 9, and that is 9. Alright, how about the square root of 256? I want you to write this on the comment section. So again, perfect squares and square roots are connected. They are like best friends in math. When you understand one, you can easily find the other. That's it for today's lesson. Keep practicing and soon you'll be a perfect square and square root master. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow our math teacher gone. See you in the next video. Bye-bye!